Hello and welcome to Gari.com. Today we are spending the day with the Volkswagen Cross Polo, a car whose credibility has been questioned because of its high price tag in relation to regular Polos. But we feel Volkswagen has given it some interesting styling enhancements for the extra asking price. Let's take a look then at the Volkswagen Cross Polo. Just a glance at the Cross Polo is enough to acknowledge that the car does stand out from the standard Polo with its black plastic cladding that adds a rugged appeal. Then there are the roof rails that further practicality by allowing bicycle racks, surfboards and roof box to be attached to them. Completing the exterior makeover are silver inserts in the lower sections of the bumpers, a single slat grill, new alloy wheels and Cross Polo stickering on the rear doors. Visual enhancements aside, it's on country roads and poor road conditions that the Cross Polo's true nature comes through. Leaving urban India behind drives you to some fairly poor road conditions and it's common for cars to bottom out on these roads. The side cladding of the Cross Polo takes a beating when you make body contact with poor road surfaces. The cladding also takes the impact of pebbles and stones thrown back by the tires towards the rocker panel and damaging the bodywork. While the plastic cladding has its upsides, what could have helped on such roads is increased ground clearance as the Cross Polo's ground clearance remains identical to that of the standard car at 168mm and it still has a low placed oil sump that is vulnerable over rough roads. The suspension of the Cross Polo offers a fairly comfortable ride over unsurfaced roads, although there is some amount of horizontal movement when the car goes fast over broken roads. The Cross Polo is essentially the Polo Highline with minor changes. The Cross Polo continues to be powered by Volkswagen's 1.2 litre turbo diesel engine. The engine develops 75 PS of power at 4000 RPM and 180 Nm of torque at 2000 RPM. Initial responsiveness is slow and it's only when you get past 2000 RPM with the turbo kicking in that the vehicle picks up speed. Power keeps coming strong to the 4500 RPM mark, post which it tails off. It has to be said though that the engine's power band is fairly narrow and you have to keep switching gears constantly to stay on the power. The cabin comes with black interiors instead of dual tone, while the equipment list remains the same as that of the top of the line Polo. The interiors are well appointed and VW quality reflects in the cabin. On the safety front, the car gets anti-lock brakes, dual airbags and rear parking sensors. The ARAI claimed fuel efficiency of 22 km to the litre and a turning radius of 4.97 meters makes the Cross Polo an economical and convenient urban runabout. Priced at around Rs 53,000 over the top-end Highline Polo 1.2 diesel, the Cross Polo is no doubt a bit on the steep side. But what you get in return is peace of mind over dirt roads and while doing some mild off-roading, added practicality with the roof rails and a unique profile that sets it apart. <laughs> 